welcome to bsc statistics students now in this uh, class we discuss uh, one more problem in the test for single proportion you see whether it is a single proportion or single sample test one sample test at all we decide with the problem read the problem 20 people were attacked by a disease and only 18 were survived you, you see you refer this refer the statement properly once again 20 people were attacked that is n is equal to 20 given that n is equal to 20 and uh, by a disease and only 18 were survived that is x is equal to 18 x is equal to 18 that is we are considering survival is success survival is number of successes so survival we have considered x is equal to 18 so therefore it is a single sample test one sample test in particularly it is test for proportion why why because 20 people were given here that is n is equal to 20 out of 20 18 were survived that is uh, due to some particular characteristic it was specified that number of successes how many survivors are there how many survivals are, are there that is x is equal to 18 how proportionately uh, these survivors uh, are taken place out of 20 therefore it is uh, x is equal to 18 therefore it is uh, single proportion test single proportion that is one sample proportion test so will you now continue the question will you reject the hypothesis that the survival rate if attacked by the disease is 85 percent in favor of the hypothesis that it is more at 5 percent level it's very simple that uh, will you reject the hypothesis that the survival rate is you will we'll see later survival rate is 85 percent in favor of the hypothesis that it is more that is we have to test the survival rate is more than 85 percent or not the survival rate is more than 85 percent or not that is we have to test at one percent at five percent level not one percent five five percent level so level of significance is given so now you write all the values n 20 x 18 small p is equal to 18 by 20 0 0.9 capital p you now you refer the question cap whenever you want to see the capital p refer the question will you reject the hypothesis that the survival rate is 85 percent in favor of the hypothesis that it is more that is survival rate is 85 percent that is capital p is equal to 8 0 0.85 85 percent 85 by 100 0 0.85 therefore q is equal to 1 minus p that is 0 0.15 now now you have to go and refer all the um, four points first one null hypothesis h naught capital p is equal to 0 0.85 have you understand this it's very simple to understand the survival rate is that is the survival rate is 85 percent now that is what we have to test and uh, already hypothesis uh, that uh, it is survival rate is 85 percent in favor of the hypothesis that it is more that it is more we have to test two particular points the survival rate is 85 percent or more that is we have to test so therefore p greater than 0 0.85 uh, it is a rival hypothesis two hypotheses were mentioned here in one particular statement that the survival rate is 85 percent or more or 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 more so we consider in the null hypothesis is survival rate is 85 percent and we consider in the alternative hypothesis that survival rate is more than 85 percent that is greater than 0 0.85 that is survival rate is more than 85 percent it is a simple consideration of the statement alternative hypothesis that is greater than therefore it is one tile test you write down here for grad if it is greater than in the h naught alternate h1 i'm sorry alternative hypothesis then we have to write it is one tile test if it is greater than or less than you have to write is one tile test this these two are crucial and the second one alternate hypothesis is crucial to consider whether the tile is one tile or two tile the test is one tile or two tile here it is one tile because p greater than 0 0.85 
therefore it is one tile test now third point is test a statistic under h naught so as usual we know the formula z is equal to small p minus capital p naught divided by square root of p naught q naught by n that is small n follows n01 is equal to capital small p 0 0.9 capital p naught 0 0.85 divided by square root of capital p naught 0 0.85 q naught 0 0.15 and uh, uh, n divided by n small, small n 20 follow, which follows n01 that is you calculate this value and the do the calculation for this value and we get 0 0.633. Now the comparison and conclusion. Now we have to do the comparison and conclusion. Last point or inference. So in the comparison and conclusion it speaks uh, modulus of z first of all. What is that? It is 0 0.633. And then uh, we have to consider z alpha tabulated value or significant value. Z alpha is at 5% level of significance for one tile test at 5% level and at uh, one for one tile test from the standard normal tables value is 1.645. Therefore, 0 0.633 is less than 1.645. Therefore, modulus of Z is less than Z alpha which implies H naught is accepted. Therefore, what is H naught? H naught is uh, the survival rate is 85 percent. So, therefore, it is not more, it is not more, more than 85 percent. So, therefore, survival rate is H naught. The survival rate attacked by this is, is 85 percent, but not more than 85 percent. It is more or less 85 percent only. That is our final conclusion. Our conclusion for this test is, for this problem is, the survival rate attacked by the disease is 85 percent more or less it is 85 percent only it is not more than 85 percent survival rate of the uh, of the one particular disease uh, is 85 percent that is our final conclusion of this particular problem thank you